Okay, we're back down to bike. Notice I got, I went ahead and put the mounting bracket for the brake caliper back on, it slides right onto the, the uh, swing arm. This is so I can loosen up the, uh, oh, the mounting bolts for the, uh, oh, the, the caliper and also these pins. You want to loosen these pins up. Now the pins themselves use the, the, the wrench, the Allen wrench that's in your kit. And this happens, it says it's a 7.30 seconds. And it fits right in there. And you just turn them. Now you might be a little snug on yours. I pre-loosened pre up mine. And I got them so I can turn them. No problem. Now, I will be rebuilding this caliper and the front one in the future. So, uh, that will be replacing my pins. Now let's go ahead and loosen up the mounting bolts. The mounting you can bolts. use the wrench that is in your kit and uh, that'll do just fine to loosen up your bolts that way. Myself, I just prefer to use my own. This is a Mac tool. Closed end, boxed end wrench. And loosen them up. Gotta do this one. And this one down here. Break them loose, loosen them up, take them, take it off. You can go ahead and just leave the mountain bracket right in the place if you wanted to. Just put your bolts down. Make sure you know where the bolts are. Stay. Don't lose them. Okay. That leaves the caliper. Got your brake pads right in here, right inside here. I pushed the slide all the way back as far as you go. Now, what you need to do is you're going to need to push your, your pistons. You can't see them very well on camera. You need to push your pistons right here all the way, and this got two pistons. So, what do I do? Let me see where it's handy here. I've got, this is a uh, six, six inch, six inch C-clamp. You can get these C-clamps, so oh, a lot of hardware stores. Let me put this back up here so I can work with the C-clamp a little bit. Okay, I need to open it up. So it's usable. Now, a lot of people will say, put things, uh, things protected. I'm not worrying about that. This is my bike, you do whatever you want. This works for me. I normally do put something to cover the protect the caliper. But you turn this and tighten it down. Oh, she's been a bugger for me. Don't remember try not to stress your brake line up too much. But you see the you go back and forth until you seat the brake pistons into place. Come on. This actually, oh shoot. This particular C-clamp actually fits perfect right into the the wells right here. I'm sorry I'm off the camera. The wells right here. So I'll, and that's why I like to use this one. I actually got a, a second one I, I use all the time too. It's not as convenient. It doesn't have the release push button on it. It's actually my clamp crackling. The pads are a little twisted, but that's okay. I mean, these pads I'm not worried about ruining. They're already gone. Um, that's why my, you don't, I don't use old pads. Now, I do keep an extra set of pads back. 
if they're good. That is only in an emergency. That is for emergency use only to get me to where I can order and get a second set of pads. Now, which one was it? Okay, now that's where, put that back in there. Yeah, okay. That's where I get, you gotta take these pins out. Right, you got one here, one here. Take your wrench. Sorry about that, guys. I just put the pins in. Put the pins in. Uh, mount remount to the thing. It's not a big deal. We'll see how far I got on this. And I uh, apologize for any place I forgot to turn the camera on. Ah, uh, I hate that. I'm only working here by myself. Like I said, tight is tight. You use the wrench. I like to use. You can use the wrench that comes in your kit. I like. I'm just going to use my box end wrench. Get it tight. Use the mount to help hold it on. Try to work smart. Okay. Now, that's ready to go. Oh, it'd be better off if I used my other camera. Okay, now that, you'll have to set this aside. I kind of hang it up. See what I'm seeing. Seeing. I'm gonna see what you're seeing. Oh, this ain't working out too well, now, is it, Mikey? <clears throat> now you go ahead and put your tire into place. Rotor to the right. Could raise it up a little bit. Okay. Unhook the thing. Slide the Brake pads over the rotor. Get the. Don't forget to put your chain on. That I forgot to do. Chain sit down on me. To hold the chain out the outside of the uh, swing arm. You mount. Back it back out. Put the pads on the pads on the rotor. Try to keep it as high as possible. Sink forward. Hold your. I hold my hold up my knee, my leg. Hook the chain up around it. Come on. This is starting to be a witch. This is starting to be a witch. Okay. Whenever I got this position right here, I mean, you can still access the where the your axles go and your hubs go. That's whenever you start putting your cups back into place. The big one goes on the right, the small one goes on the left. That's just in case you got them mixed up. Your axle, you greet, you should lube it, inspect it for weird wear. And tear like galling or something like that. I like to use axle grease, wheel bearing grease. My axle looks actually really, really good shape. But you put a little, real thin coat on it. And you can barely see it, but it's got a real thin coat on. I like to do that. I do have extra grease inside the the hub though. 
you start that going through to the left, the whole, the wheel up. Okay, by the magic of YouTube, <laughs> you bring it up on line up here. This one here actually gave me a little bit of a hassle this time, lining everything up, which happens. I mean, it's not a big deal. You just you figure out what's holding you up and you work around it. You don't just don't try not to jam anything too hard or bend anything. But you work your axle. Uh, which my axle is not working with me today. Work your axle through. Make sure everything's lined up on this side, which it wasn't. So it'll come. The axle will come through there. You just tap with your hand. I mean, it's your. Ain't gonna hurt anything. You can use a rubber mallet too. Now at this point, what I tend to do is I'll find the wrench that I used. I'll turn the axle. That makes it just a little bit easier to slide in through there. There, what I do is I will go ahead and use the wrench that came in the kit for the left hand side. Kind of work it and tap it with my hand. No more than my hand. I mean, you can choose to do do it with a, a rubber hammer, that'd be fine. But it's, that, it's, not, it's, not, it's just that easy. And if, if this, if I didn't have so far off the ground here, I mean, I could have lined it up. I've done it many times. You slid into place. But you go ahead and use your, put your adjuster, chain adjuster piece in, along with your washer, your crown nut. This really should be cleaner than it is. The other wrench for this side of your tool kit, which I've already given the uh, size to it, this is a 27 millimeter. You snug it down. Tight is tight, no more than that, you don't want it loose. And you want to keep your eye on the, uh, the hole to the axle because you're going to line up the crown. The crown with the crown bolt to it and put your pin back through. Now I advise you if you got the original style pins to replace it. Don't reuse it. Now if I was along the road and I was stuck, I'd go ahead and try to reuse it until I can get a replacement for it. Tight is tight. Now I'll go ahead and use this. This is what was on the bike when I got it. If you don't got one of these, find the right size. And I would recommend using it. Since the bike goes, it's always in forward motion, I like to put it from the front to the back. Or yeah, front to the back. Now that's how we and uh, make sure you go back through, tighten your fasteners up, your mounting fast your mounting bolts. Tight is tight, don't need any more. And don't forget your pins. Snuck them up. I'm being a little clumsy today. Snug them up. Don't have to be super, super tight. Okay. And we're good. Now, after this, what we'll do is I just touched the rotor, which I didn't care to do. A little alcohol, clean it up. Okay. Our brake cleaner. What I'll do is I'll pump the brakes a couple times just to set the pads close to the rotor and to take it for uh, 
All right, now what I do is I like to take, take it up, get it up to speed to say about, well, I'll start with like 10 miles an hour, I hit the brake. Take it up to 15, hit the brake. And I'll take it up about 20, 25, hit the brake. Make sure it's, uh, it's seating, catching real good. And uh, just, just take it easy with it on your first get out on the road with it because it'll, it won't brake as well until it really seats into the rotor. I won't. I don't see if I, I don't see that me having any problems. This is a really good straight rotor, really good flat rotor. Might as well be brand new. But this is Muzzle Mike. Hoping that you learned something out of this. This is how you how I replace the uh, rear rotor and brake pads. This is Muzzle Mike saying, "Have a great day." Signing out.